Hi guys, here is Art from Königsmark and uh, I got a lot of requests regarding uh, the usage of the older People in Motion version 1 characters. So I think it's easier to do a, a screen recording and sh just show you uh, how it works. Um, so basically you head over to the content browser where you have uh, the library installed with uh, all the characters. You just uh, choose the one you like by double clicking and head over to the objects manager where you can unfold the hierarchy. So we don't need this um, character object here so we just drag out the hierarchy from this object and then we can delete this. So the hierarchy starts off with two null objects. So then already uh, we can get our people motion controller. And uh, if we have a look now at the front view, for instance, you can see that the character is already in some asymmetric pose. So it's a little bit weight shifting going on here and the head is tilted and so on. So we don't want that. So what we do now is just select the weight tags that we have here behind the objects and we click to reset the bind pose. So this brings back the character to the default A pose. And now we can just select our people motion controller head over to the basic settings and pick the root joint and link this to the hip links. So you can see that the structure of the older rigs is that uh, we have a little bit of an offset of the hip joints. So that's why we have this hip parent offset value here. So just reducing this to bring down the complete rig. This is about minus 85 in this case so that the feet are uh, on the same level here then we choose of course the people motion version 1 rig type and load this rig you can see that all the handles get adjusted to the rig and we can now constrain it and switch over to animate and that's basically all you have to do from here you can proceed as you already know with all the er other characters. So for instance using some walk animation. So this is just uh, a short tip. Of course there should be some tweaking um, with the position of the elbows and shoulders. But that's basically how to bind the People Motion 1 version of the characters to the new People Motion version 2 controller.